uh, quiz 38 what is the output of the following code snippet look at this very carefully so we have a parent class and child class and child is inherited from parent so what are the attributes of the parent class a constructor methods all are accessible to child class as well now what we do is look at this this way we create an instance 100 comma 200 we pass it across it goes up here num comma val num will have 100 val will have 200 now we call out this parent class constructor using super function what we do we pass a num we pass 100 which means if 100 we pass it goes up the constructor is called self dot uh, double underscore num is a private attribute so that is assigned with 100 fine then val is assigned with 200 fine so these are these are simply getters we get the value of uh, both the attributes now look at this sun using the <coughs> reference variable uh, of an object child sun dot get num get num belongs to this parent class yes it returns 100 then sun dot get value should return 200 the answer should be this 100 and 200 so what is the output of the following code snippet logic is quite simple parent class child class and the child class is inherited from parent class and both has a constructor and show it has child class as a method now the moment you create an instant child the subclass constructor is called but what we have done within the subclass we are calling the parent class constructor so it goes up so this uh, it automatically it has an attribute named num and it is automatically assigned to 100 fine then within this subclass constructor we have a name variable named as where attribute named as where and value is 200 now using show function we are printing both the values num and where so then we call this method so sun dot show so it, it prints num it prints where so the result should be 100 200 so points to be noted super can be used to invoke the default or parameterized constructor of the parent class from child class and in this uh, example the constructor is a um, it is a constructor with a no parameter right a public instance variable of parent class can be directly accessed in child class using self dot variable name as it belongs to the child object but if it is a private attribute then we need to use getter Consider the following Python function of representing the customers of retail store. Objective of the code is to record the details of the customer. Look at this. So we have method named as customer and we have a customer type name, discount points and everything is there. But look at this customer type is regular. That is a customer type and privileged is a customer type. Elite is a customer type. So from this we can understand that. So every time we record that is a different uh, thing. But if you look at this customer type there are four uh, three customer types which means so we can have four classes a base class is a customer customer will have some common attributes then regular class will have some attributes and privileged will have some additional and elite will have some additional attributes some different attributes so we can say that customer as a base class and child class should be uh, will be regular privileged and elite so that is understanding we we take from this regular privileged and elite are types of customer each of them have a common attribute name and the specific attributes thus customer is the parent class and regular privileged and elite are its child classes hence this is the answer i hope you are able to understand this what is the output of following code snippet we have a class named as a parent and uh, attribute num private attribute look at this private attribute and we have a method named as show and it we have a text parent colon uh, then self dot num which means we are printing this value fine then we have a child class named as, uh, named a child and uh, inherited from a parent class we have a constructor uh, init uh, within which we also call parent class constructor fine then we have a attribute named as variable and we are trying to print it here in this show function so both has constructor and uh, method named as show now we create an instance for parent class so this time what will happen num value will be 100 then we use dot dot show so it, this we call this method and automatically the value should be 100 then uh, we create an instant for child and using which we, we call this sun dot show off so this value is 10 so the output should be parent 100 and the child 10 so we should be able to points to be noted a parent method can be overridden in the child class when the overridden method is invoked using child object child's method will be invoked look at this so we have shows the two shows one here if you leave it alone it is only one method but when you define one when you write 
code for show function within show show method within the child class it is we we override remember this we override when you call the method show so using a child class object so it will refer to the show which is there in the child class but not the parent class when the override method is invoked using parent object parent method will be invoked no doubt because parent class has no access to child class what should be returned in line number 14 to get the output as mentioned below parent 100 child 10 so this variable parent class got a constructor attribute num is assigned with 100 and it is printing using show function the value is printed child as a it is parent class constructor is being called then attribute named is var is assigned with 10 fine so within this show function look at this in the 17 we created child class instance then we call the child class method show so this only method will be called so to get the output like 110 from here we need to call this method num is a private attribute we cannot directly access it so we need to call this method show is show of the parent class is overridden here in the child class to call the parent class method from the child class you left use super function super of show if you do that we should be able to access it